PSD with you, tutorials and gaming. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Right, in this video, I'm going to be comparing the first boot RAM usage of the top three Linux distributions against CoSBSD. And I've chosen the last stable release on each one. And in all of the examples, I've used XFCE, either the official version or a community spin. And this video is not a review. I am not reviewing the Linux distributions. This is purely to measure the amount of RAM use on the initial first boot. A clean boot and in all cases I'll be using a clean install via virtual box each virtual box session is identical and the only thing that changes is the Linux distribution being measured each virtual box session uses a dual core and four gigabytes of RAM allocated first up MX Linux 18.3 now we're using the 64 bit of MX Linux 18.3. I've never installed this before, so um, this is a learning curve for me, although I don't anticipate any problems. On all of these videos, I'll be using uh, this the similar method as you see now. I'll be going through the full install, showing you um, the actual installation, then showing you the reboot into straight using the test. So it's as fair as I can make it. Right, we'll just uh, set the U. I'm going to set everything to basically um, the default. Everything is really going to be untouched. Except for that, I'll also install entire disk. And yeah. And then that's it. Uh, leave, again, I'm going to leave everything to uh, the default. Leave everything again to defaults. I could change it to my country site, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch anything. Again, just next. Type in username. Password. Root password. And again. And. Just click next. And that'll be it, I think. I'm going to speed up the install so you don't have to wait around. Brilliant. So automatically reboot this. Is right, okay. I should have just, fin just click finish. And we'll reboot. Right, we're just about to boot up into MX, the newly installed MX. And let's have a look what uh, Linux can give us on the XFCE front. Password. Right. Okay, that's good so far. I'm not making any judgments about anything. I'm not reviewing it. So I'm not particularly fussed about what pops up and what doesn't. Let's go to a terminal and type in top, which is, after all, the entire point of the video. Right. So as you can see, We've got 331512, I have to stop it somewhere, so I chose that number, which roughly translates into 339.4 megabytes used. So 339 megabytes used on MX Linux. Not doing anything on first boot. So what I'll do is that I'll close that down, stop the virtual machine, and we'll boot into the next Linux install which is Manjaro 18.1.0. Again, it's just like on the previous install, I'm just gonna go through the, uh, the defaults. 
I've also never installed Manjaro, so uh, again, this is the first time for me. There we go. Uh, welcome screen, which will... Um, at the bottom is... Oh, launch installer at the bottom. Click next. Again, we're going to go through the defaults. Click next. And again. And... I'll select... Erase disk. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it as default for that. I don't need to swap on this particular instance. Type in name. Password. I know this is my, this, this may be boring for those who have installed Manjaro before, but just for clarity and uh, openness, I want to go through each install and show you what I did, and then straight into the, the boot of the new system. I think that was all. Office Suite, okay. Well, Seamers Ghost PST comes with LibreOffice already installed. I think I will select LibreOffice. I don't know if that will have a bearing on any of the runtimes or the, you know, the, the startup memory. But just in case, I'm going to select LibreOffice anyway. Um, leave it all as default, I think, and just click Install. Install now. Right, okay. Again, um, I'll speed things up. And we'll boot into the new system. Right, okay. Right, this is the Welcome screen, I think we can exit this. Start the terminal and issue top. Right, this one gives us 564164, 592, hmm, we're gonna have to settle on one of these. I'll go down for the lower value, to be kind. Okay. Just going to let it settle down. We're getting a, an update notification. So, again, we'll just let things settle down. Right. It's 562116, which translates roughly into 576 megabytes. And that's for Manjaro. So that's the highest out of the two so far looked at. And we'll restart and boot into a new system. Now it's Linux Mint 19.2 XFCE edition. Again, as with the previous two, I'll go in for the defaults. Okay, double click. And we'll start the install process. Continue and continue. Uh, 
and we'll just keep on clicking install and continue now put in the details again robot nookie of course and password and we'll just leave that as default and that's it again we'll speed things up and there you go restart now Right, we're just going to boot into uh, Linux Mint. And the first one we will need to do again is to uh, log in. So I'm going to put the password in. And... Mark your screen. Close that. Okay, right, terminal, and we'll top it. Right, we're going to wait for it to settle down a little bit, as you always uh, really should, because there's any sort of like initial services up and running. Right, and we'll take that one. So the snapshot we've just used is 345684, which works out to 353.9 megabytes, or round it up to 354 megabytes. So that's Linux Mint. 354 megabytes. Okay. And the final one we're going to put on is GhostBSD itself. XFCE Community Edition. We're just going to uh, we're just going to boot into the live desktop. But first we'll get a, a little a little menu giving us a choice of graphical drivers to choose from and same as we're using VirtualBox there we go right we install uh, next and uh, next I'm going to choose UFS because ZFS would give a underlying um, load, which I think would be unfair. Password. Name. Again, it's, it's what we've done uh, three other times. I'm going to leave that as default. And that's it, we're installing. So I will fast forward this uh, until we get to the end. Right, there we go. And we will restart. Now we're booting into the newly installed Ghost PSD. Login and wait for the desktop to come up. There we go. And as we have in previous occasions, we'll go for the terminal. Type in top. And right, it's organized slightly different, but there it tells us look 243, 244. Active memory being used. Well, down to 236, so we'll wait for it to settle. Seems to be settling on 237. So that's what we'll go with. So 237 megabytes used. I don't need to convert it because it already displays it as megabytes. But yeah, 236, 237. And I think that that's the lowest so far. But we'll get to the results.
in fourth place is Manjaro, 18.1.0, with 576 megabytes. In third place, Linux Mint, with 354 megabytes. Second, MX Linux, with 339 megabytes. And of course, at least first, GhostBSD, with 237 megabytes. And really, that's quite a difference. All running XFCE and measuring the RAM use on first boot. So the clear winner is Ghost PST. But wait, we've got a bonus result. And that is, I'm going to install XFCE on my main FreeBSD box, which is running FreeBSD 12. Patch 10. So I'm just going to go PKG install XFCE. I'll just speed up the install just to show you know that I'm actually installing it. And we're going to reboot the machine. And this is on my main machine, it's not VirtualBox. So I'm going through the boot up process. And we're going to measure RAM use in vanilla FreeBSD of XFCE. Let's we'll see if we can beat 237. Log into my XDM. You can't see anything coming up because it's I, I've got it set so no shows up in the login. And there we go. Go down to terminal. We're just going to type in top again. And hopefully you can see 194 megabytes. And well, there you go. 193. Not bad. And there's the running processes. Or 192. We'll go 192. So there you go. FreeBSD running XFCE uses 192 megabytes on first boot. I, you know, I'm going to be slightly biased here, but that's uh, that that's winning by quite a margin. Followed by GhostBSD and then followed by the Linuxes. Okay, okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this comparison, and I'll catch you next time. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that like button. And to make sure you don't miss out, please consider subscribing, as this really helps me help you.